Welcome to a day in the life of a full-time mom trying to juggle two small children at home, all the while having a demanding underwriting job. Let's see how the day goes. a good start to the new year today is january 11th it is thursday your girl is working from home let me tell you it was kind of a rough start all week but today was a rough start today so y'all little internet niece poem has been sick like they started the spring semester january 4th and so, which was a Thursday, just an odd day. So Thursday and Friday, last Thursday and Friday, she went to school. But she's basically been on all week this week, um, except for today. She went to school today. But um, yeah, Monday, she wasn't feeling too good from off of the weekend. She had a little fever. And then Tuesday, she started to feel a little better so i let her go to school and on my way to work because i had to drive into work on tuesday i get a call at like seven i don't even think school started yet or maybe it just started it was like seven i don't know what time it was seven 20 ish from the nurse already saying you know she uh, is complaining about her throat being sore and all this type of stuff so thankfully I was able, the neighbor was dropping off her daughter and she was outside of the school. So I was able to call her and say, hey, can you take Poem home? And Dre was at home. So she was, she went back home. She really didn't go to school Tuesday. And then later on that day, Tuesday, when I come home, her eye was really like red. And I remember when she woke up that morning, her eye was like caked up and shut. And I was like, Oh, that looks like in the in my subconscious. I was like, oh, that looks like what happens when you're about to have pink eye. But I didn't really think anything of it. So when I got home and I saw her eye and I asked her, I was like, does her eye look kind of red? And he was like, yeah, I was thinking that too. And I'm like, oh my goodness, does she have pink eye? <clears throat> so the next day, what day we on now, y'all? So Wednesday, her eye was still when she woke up in the morning. So okay, I'm gonna check her eye. By this time, the fever, the sore throat, all of that, I think that's dying down. So, Wednesday, uh, we wake up as if I'm about to get her ready for school. And her eyes were still kind of, still having that little shut thing. And so, I'm like, no, I'm going to keep her home again. So, she was home yesterday. Still bouncing around, feeling fine. And then today, I'm like, yesterday, I was like, you're going to school today. Okay, we're going to see how your eye looks. So, this morning, we woke up. Around five to get her ready. I said, come on, get out. Let me see your eye. <clears throat> and she's like, I'm trying to open it, but I can't because <laughs> of the lights or whatever. So I had her open her eye and I looked at it and it was still a little tints of pink or reddish. But um, I was like, oh, gosh, I don't want to send her to school if she has pink eye. And so I'm like, Paul, this is the last day you're going to stay home and we're going to see. So I fall back asleep and I oversleep and I wake up to her because I came here in the workroom and I got on the guest bed about to get ready to work, but got on the guest bed and went to sleep. <laughs> I get on, um, 
I look up to her on her tablet looking at me in my face. Eyes clear as day. I ain't seen no hint of red, hint of pink. I look at the time. It was like 9 o'clock. I said, oh, no, you going to school. Tardy and all. So I got her up, got her ready for school. Luckily, the, the school is literally like three minutes up the street. So got her ready, took her to school. The class was so happy to see her, and she's happy to be back. She loves school. Um, but yeah, took her to school. And I actually think they have a field trip today, like an indoor field trip or something. I remember having to sign some documents earlier or late last week. So yeah, when she came in here feeling fine, I said, girl, get your, let's get dressed. You going to school. So she is at school. So it's 11.55 a.m. right now. Um, y'all, I don't even know if I'm going to get into it with work with y'all right now. <laughs> Let me just tell y'all, okay? It has been a time. It has been a time these last few weeks. We had meetings that people was getting snapped on in. <laughs> y'all, it has been a lot. It is, it is January 11th and we're still getting January 1 renewals out. I mean... We are sticking it out, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all the story about what happened in our in our team meeting. It was needed. It was definitely needed. Person who got snapped on it was definitely needed. But like, um, yeah, it has been rough. Okay, it, and it's gonna get rough because I got some news to break to them soon. But we gonna talk about all that soon, y'all. All that soon. So. Let me go ahead and get to work because I have a lot to do. I mean, if I were to tell y'all, you know what I tell y'all when I get caught up? There's no such thing as getting caught up because in a couple of days you're back. So like my inbox, my emails, let me just go down to the, the, the oldest email I have that I, I need to review. Oh, geez. I need to do these today. Yeah, I need to get these done. Okay, I ain't going to tell y'all how old the oldest email is because we a month out. Let me get to work, y'all. We're going to talk about work in a minute. Two little ones with me. Home gets off of school. Her bustle arrives around 2:20. So, y'all can see I made the bed. Dre went to the gym, so it's technically supposed to be my lunch break right now, but I'm working through my lunch break because, like I said, I got a late start. some leftovers for lunch i made some chicken breast last night um so chicken breast and we have some leftover spaghetti that i made the night before hey, hey she's not a horse get off her she always trying to saddle up like she a horse <laughs> but stop it but yeah and then tonight i think i'm gonna make some salmon some um um uh, like we have this, who is that? We have this bourbon glazed marinade. So I'm, I think I'm going to do that tonight with some broccoli. Uh, and the kids really don't eat the salmon. So I just have enough for me and Dre. And then I'll figure out what they're going to eat tonight. Because they're just so simple and picky. And y'all remember when you ate what was in front of you? When your mama or daddy cooked when you was a kid? Not these kids. And I be trying, but it's like, I just, I don't want them to go hungry or go to bed hungry. That's, there's just something about... A kid being hungry that just makes me feel so uneasy. Yeah, so it's Thursday, so you guys know um, Poem has ballet today. They're going to start working, I believe, on their... Poem, be careful. They're going to start working on their recital, spring recital routine. And I think they have two dances, so two costume changes, two dances. And yeah, so Pow Pow, do you want to do ballet? 
she always talks about being a ballerina and she's two right now so i think they start at two and a half but i'm gonna wait till she's three and we'll see we'll see if she likes it um yeah you wanna be a little ballerina <laughs> yeah so that's on the agenda today after work um we're going to dance and then we're gonna cook dinner and I need to do some laundry. I always need to do laundry. Whoa! Whoa! What's going on? <laughs> Alright, Papa, what do you want to eat for lunch? Um, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger? Girl! That is not what you just told me upstairs. I thought you wanted mac and cheese from last night. Sandwich? Palace. Now you just saying stuff because you don't really eat sandwiches. Because. Do you want spaghetti? And cake. Do you want mac and cake? Do you want spaghetti? Mm. Or do you want, uh, you mean cut up some chicken and you want mac and cheese? Um. Or. Spaghetti. Or do you want chicken nugget and fries? Well, we don't have chicken nuggets. Do you want fries? Spaghetti. Are you going to eat spaghetti, Palace? I got spaghetti. You gonna spill it, Palace? Yes. <laughs> Girl, work with me, Posey. Why are you pulling my head, Star? Okay, for real, seriously. Do you want mac and cheese or do you want spaghetti? Ice cream. Okay. All right, let me heat up some food because I'm hungry. It's one twenty-six. I'm off at three because power up. I'm off at three because we have to leave here by three. 45 in order to get her to dance at 415. This chicken smells good. I know. I just made some chicken breasts last night. Smells yummy, yummy, yummy. You gotta work. Girl, me too. I gotta work too. I'm tired of working. So guys, let me tell you about, let me tell you about our, um, it wasn't this week's team meeting. It was last week's team meeting. So y'all like, so you guys know we had a deadline to meet prior to the new year for December 28th to have pretty much everything in as far as endorsements, tasks any new business and they wanted one one January 1st renewals done before that well I always say this guys as you know the company I work for their main focus is medical malpractice or professional liability insurance for uh, the health field so for doctors for surgeons hospitals things of that nature okay So the other lines of business, it's like they get to when they get to as far as, well, to me, to me, they get to when they get to, or they want to see the data as to why we need more people, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So all these deadlines they want to meet, they're just literally not realistic unless like I'm working 80 hours a week. I'm not talking every two weeks. I'm talking about a week. And I just can't physically do that. With the whole family, with three small children. I mean, I think I think it'll be a little different. I still wouldn't do it that crazy, but it would definitely be different if I didn't even have either have children or if my children were like way older. Like I'm talking maybe high school. Okay. So, long story short, they're sending updates on. You guys are doing a great job. These are the only lines of business that aren't are in, or these are the only renewals that aren't done. And would, would y'all believe me if I said that workers' comp, general liability, all of our lines that are not medical malpractice, none of it was updated on that list. So I'm like, they're not even looking at our stuff. They're talking about medical malpractice. So what am I stressing for trying to get all this done? Now, I'm still trying to get it done because this is what they were, said they wanted. So mind you, it's just me doing my lines of business. I'm working, 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 working. We, as of my meeting, my team, the three of us, my underwriter, get your hands out of the chicken, girl. My underwriting manager, the senior underwriter, and myself, 
we're working our butts, our tails off, okay? So we come to our meeting, and you guys already know, I told you there is an individual that sits in on the meetings that's technically not on our team. He's like the business development officer for Workers' Comp, so his job is to go out and build relationships, get new business um, prospects and things of that nature for the Workers' Comp line of business. So he's gotten really good in with our team. We have, you know, decent relationships, good relationships. We go out to lunch. If he needs something quick, we try and get it out to him. We have a good relationship. But what he doesn't understand, while he can work and take walks and go on breaks and jog during the day while he's calling us asking where stuff is, we don't have that luxury. We don't have the manpower or the people to do that. Yes. You want to help me? Okay. Y'all yeah, pause for the call so this girl can scoop some spaghetti on the plate. So this is the plate, and I'm just going to divvy it out between all three of us. Okay, so back to the story. So we get in our meeting, right? Everybody goes, say what they have to say, and then it gets to him, right? And he goes, Mallory, you're doing a banged up job. And I think he was saying like a banging job. Like he he's the type of person he will... He'll give you compliments and then he'll say what he really wants to say. And so then he starts to talk about how emails are his emails are being responded to late. Things aren't getting to the new business aren't getting to, and we're doing it. Uh, he used the cuss word, a itty job. You guys know I don't cuss, so he said you're doing it. You he didn't say he didn't say you guys are doing an itty job. It's just he said we're just doing an itty job. That's what he said. So in my head, I'm like, I just want to, I was like, does this man not understand what we're working up against? And let me tell you, by far, we are a, a darn good department, okay? My underwriting uh, director is top of the line on her game. Our loss ratios are great. We are a profitable line of business. The higher ups are not complaining. And I think that is why we're having a, getting a hard time getting what we need as far as people on our team because for what we have we're doing a pretty good job and our lines of business are very profitable so after he done his spill my underwriting director just goes completely off y'all it was the most uncomfortable <laughs> but professional thing ever like when i say professional like she went off but she was very professional about it like she just said you know we work our butts off we have three people doing a, a seven, eight person's job. We can't even get to our job most of the time because we're sitting in IT meetings about a, a rating platform that just keeps getting errors. We're sitting in meet, our meetings correcting Mommy, things. It's, it, done. it's done. We're doing jobs that aren't even our job a lot of the time. We're doing tasks that operations should solely take over. We're doing so many things and right now, we have to touch every single renewal because we're transferring them into a writing platform. I told you guys a couple videos ago, our, our one of the girls on the operations team, she left. And she knew everything in and out. And so we have two new people who are asking me to train them on how to do a cancellation. And I, I, I went to the boss, her boss and I said, can you check and see if there's any training material? I will be glad to help train, but I just don't have the time right now because we have to get these January renewals out so she hasn't responded yet so I think they found the training material I have no problem helping but literally like we're doing things like that are just taking away from the job we're supposed to be doing so she's like we're working our butts off she's explaining you know why we can't get things out and she said for you to come in here and tell my team that they're doing an itty job is unacceptable she said you're creating a hostile environment and that that's what makes people go to HR and she said she said I have to protect my people and I was sitting there like you go ahead you go ahead and that's why I will work here until she retires now I'm not saying that I won't keep working here until after she retires but she's probably retiring like the end of this year probably next year and I will stay with her until she retires I'm not going to leave her hanging I'm not going to leave her hanging like that she, she will have me on her team until she retires and she has my word on that because I've never had a manager that will that sticks up for you like that and he was he, you could tell he felt bad if he was like I, I, I'm sorry 
I'm sorry, you guys do a really good job. I didn't mean that. I was just trying to vent and say da 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 da. And I spoke up and I was just like, what you don't understand is that my mailbox is backed up a month. Not because I'm not working, I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs. I said, if you understood, we have to touch. And in renewal, in January alone, I think I had 400 or so renewal. Do you know I'm still doing January 1? We had to wait for the operations team to put manually all the renewals in. And the ones they couldn't issue, I have to go back and look at. And so it's like, you tell us we're doing a good job, and he knows we're and he knows we're doing a good job. Mama, but you, I, like, I just don't understand I don't, because we don't have the people. Mama's good for games. It's good. Okay, I'm gonna make it play. He's always offering to take things off our plate, but then backs out of it. So after that meeting, my boss came to me later that day. She's like, I hope I didn't make it uncomfortable for you. And I said, No, actually, I'm glad you said something because y'all let me tell y'all before. We went on break again for the new year. I was working so hard that last day to get things out. And so after, it was like 3.45. You guys know if I get, get off at 3, I was still working. I worked till 6. He's texting me on the phone like, we still need to get these binders out. Like, Y'all, I started typing out something so long on that. And then I had to take a breather and I had to pray. And I said, I cannot send that. That is unprofessional. I erased the whole thing. And was like, I'm still working. I will get you what you need before the weekend. But like, she came to me. She's like, I hope I didn't make that uncomfortable. I said, no, I'm actually glad you said, said something. I said, I don't know if he thinks that I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. She said, Mally, I know that you're working. You're doing the best that you can. You know, I know that you're working. That's all that matters. She was like, is he a VP like he says he is? Or is he just a sales agent? Because he got some type of fire up under his butt the way he coming at us. And she was just like, I want to keep my people happy. And she said, when we had a transform, um, she said, when the medical malpractice underwriters a few years back had a system transition, everyone quit but one person because just they couldn't handle the workload and with the transition and the demand. Everyone quit but one person. She said, I'm trying not to have you guys quit on us. I want to keep you guys happy for him to come in here and say that. And I told her, I said, you know, I'm a strong person. I'm not the type of person just to go to HR or anything like that. But I'm glad you said something because I didn't want to have to say something eventually. So I'm glad he did. And he has backed off a bit. He definitely has. And she was like, yeah, I know he would come at you a little bit more aggressive than he would at me. So I had to nip that in the bud. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. And I have to keep telling myself, if my supervisor is not complaining, because she doesn't. She doesn't complain about me. Anything she needs done, she said, if I need something priority, I will let you know this needs to prior be priority. And you do that. But if it's not, you continue to work and do what you can get done. And I just have to remember that and not bring on that added stress that comes with what's coming. So, y'all, it's so different when you have a supportive manager. It makes you stick in there a little bit longer. Uh, so, yeah, y'all, that's what's going on with work. Still super behind again again once you get caught up you just can't i've never worked somewhere like this you know it's a, it's so weird because like it's a good company though but i get their their strategy i get it but it's like right now you just have to work through the kinks until they get their technology the way they want it to be so they don't have to hire more people but it's, it's a low-key stressful all right y'all ready eat hey papa you ready for dance? Yeah. Girl. <laughs> you look cute. Give me a little, uh, what's it called? First position, second position. You wanna show us a little something? Sure. All right, let me see. Peppa, you gotta pay attention. You can know all this stuff before you start ballet. All right, Popo, let's see. First, first position. No, don't put that on pool. Y'all about to leave. Okay, first position. I can't see your feet. All right. Do you know second? We step out. Okay. All right, show me a few moves you learned. Show me a few moves you learned or something. Okay. Happy Father's Day. you went away, girl. Come back. Okay, Poo Poo. Okay, I think Daddy ready for you. So go ahead and put your stuff on. Where your shoes at? I 
Okay. Okay. We just made it up. Pa Palace, if you don't get from under there, get from under there. All right, Popo, have a good day at ballet. Hey guys, so Dre decided to take Poem to ballet for me, and I was gonna stay here and wash Poem. Um, I was gonna stay here and wash Palace's hair because she needs her hair washed and done. But they just went to sleep. And I am utilizing this time to relax because I literally do not get to do this until it's like late at night. And then by then I'm falling asleep. So I'm sitting here watching old episodes of The Hills. <laughs> yes, The Hills. Did y'all watch that like back in high school and stuff? I used to watch The Hills. So I started from season one like a couple weeks ago. But I'm like, I want to wake her up to wash her hair. But I'm like, I need this. I need this woosa, this chill moment. So I'm about to watch me some heels for a little bit before I start dinner. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Ooh. I meant to show you guys me cooking the salmon last night. It turned out really good. And I don't like sweet salmon. I really like savory, but my husband wanted sweet. So I just did the whole thing sweet instead of splitting it up. And it actually turned out really good. I'm sure at some point I'll go to the kitchen <laughs> today, so I'll show you the marinade that I incorporated. But it is after eight o'clock. Um, I had to drive poem to school because we woke up late, y'all. Last night was crazy. I like lower level flooded, I think from like, we're trying to figure out from what we're thinking is the washing machine. And this is the second time it's happened um, within three weeks and we can't figure out where the water is coming from. It's so weird because it we, only happens after we do a wash from the washer, but like no pipes are, are leaking, no backup, it's so weird. So we were up last night sucking the water out the carpet with the carpet cleaner, it was just whatever. So I kept hitting the snooze button today, it was running late, and so I had to take home to school. Um, <clears throat> Dre has to work this morning with, basically my entire work day. So it's just me and uh, Posey and Palace today, my two year old and 11 month old. So that'll be interesting. So in order for me to feel productive, I think what I'm gonna do today is just set a goal for myself. And if I get that goal done, I will feel productive today because I don't have to beat a dead horse. Y'all already know what's going on with work. So I think my goal today is to get 10 renewals out, meaning issued and do three new business uh, applications. So if I can complete that, I will feel accomplished today. Um, I'm working while having a two-year-old and 11-month-old with me. So there's going to be stopping, there's going to be interruptions, and I'm just acknowledging that now. Um, I just got out the shower, just got dressed a little bit so that I can feel productive, put my hair in my ponytail, no scarf today because I need to feel productive <laughs> uh so i am about to head and start some work um i think i heard the baby but i'm gonna lay her lay her a little bit i've already put her bottle in the warmer and um yeah i'm still warming her bottle so <laughs> uh and so i just need to put the powder in there when she gets up and hopefully i mean when dre's here they sleep with him until about 10 or 11 o'clock but ain't nobody warms there, so they may wake up earlier. Um, yeah, let's get into these nails. Now, they're cute, right? But, so a couple of days ago, one of my husband's clients invited us over for dinner. So while him and his client and the male, the men were doing their thing, me and the wife were bonding, and she asked me if I wanted to um, do nails. So she had her nails done really cute and she was like, I have some more, we can do nails. And I really didn't want to put them on just because I have a baby that I'm changing diapers and all that and work, I type <laughs> and type really fast and I'm not used to wearing nails all the time. So it feels so weird right now and I'm trying to keep them on, but I think I'm going to have to cut them down because it's slowing your girl down. Okay. They're cute. I think she got them from Timu. They're really cute. But I, it's just slowing me down, you know? Even when I'm washing the girls and putting lotion on them, I have to be careful, scratch them, and stuff like that. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'm yapping too much. We ain't got that much time. We do not got that much time today. I gotta squeeze in as much work as I can get done. So, let's get to work. 
before these children wake up. working for like probably about 45 minutes to an hour and I've gotten four renewals completed so far it's 9 38 and Dre actually doesn't have to go in to do his set um session until about two so he'll probably leave here maybe 12 30 ish or one so I have time to get some things done so Posey woke up and he was able to get her, get the bottle, and they're laying down. So thank you, Lord. I have some time to get some things done before he leaves. So that worked out perfectly. So uh, I am going to... Um, yeah, I have this one account that I think I talked about this some months ago. We have their workers comp, but they brought on their general liability um, exposure that is like a hundred and almost twenty five thousand in premium, and ever since they brought on that piece of business. So let me backtrack. I think that was BRR, meaning like a different agency took over, and this agency has just been difficult. <laughs> and they're saying the insured wants these types of things, but we've never had these issues before with the insured and we've had the workers comp for several years but there's so much going back and forth about invoices and they want it on letterhead they don't want an excel spreadsheet um, and i'm cc'd on all these emails and i'm like i don't do billing i don't do accounting i don't do anything i wish they would take me off of these emails but it's just like jeez oh, louise like I'm just, they're asking for all this stuff. And like, it's just like, what if our company just doesn't provide a coupon book for payments? I mean, they're just asking for all type of random things. Anyway, I'm sorry, that's going off a tangent, but that email just came in and I saw that. But um, I'm probably gonna knock out two more and then I'm going to make breakfast or maybe I'll just wait till the girls wake up before I make breakfast, but I, you guys know I like my little croissant sandwiches in the morning when I go into the office. So I bought my own croissants and I'm going to make a turkey, bacon, egg, and croissant sandwich for Dre and I for breakfast. And then um, the girls will eat their waffles or French toast or oatmeal, whatever they feel like eating when they get up. So, um, so far so good. Like I said, I've gotten four done. I'm going to try and knock out two more or actually I'm going to just keep working until the girls wake up and then I will make breakfast because I'm starting to get hungry. I want a croissant sandwich and I want some coffee. I love coffee. I never thought I would become a coffee drinker, but here we are. Okay. Here, be safe. Yes. There you go, bye-bye. You gotta go to work. I might make you girls breakfast, okay? I don't know if there's lemonade in there. You can check. Yeah, phone's at school. Let me open this for you. It's 11 18. I'm done with the 10 renewals. I've even sent out some non renewal cancellations and responded to an email. So I'm on a good track. Dre actually just left. So they called him in a little bit earlier. Just... Y'all, we're still praying for stability in that situation. Whew. God is faithful, but he is faithful. Um, yeah, so he's gone. Thankfully, I got 10 renewals done and out the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them breakfast. They want French toast sticks. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna get the baby to eat. Probably some yogurt and, and maybe a French toast stick, like one, one French toast stick. And then I'm about to make my uh, croissant sandwich because I'm so hungry. I'm gonna start my coffee first because I need a, a sip. And then, yeah, I'm gonna get them breakfast, get that all settled, and then get back to work in a bit. So 
let's get it started y'all it is just so oh it's so um what's the word it's doable but you have to be disciplined and i can't really say i'm consistently disciplined when it comes to getting on a schedule where i can I guess be my best for work while having to still be a mom at times as far as like if I have to work and keep the girls at the same time and you know I know people are like well, why don't you put them in daycare or you know why don't you have someone come in and watch them that's all fun and dandy but as of right now we just can't afford to do that so you know it's just we're working it out how we can work it out stop pow pow um yeah, so let me get, get the breakfast for the girls and stuff. Okay, so I got my croissants. Hopefully, they're still kind of soft because I got them Monday. Today's Friday. Ooh, they're kind of hard, but that's okay. It, they, I put them in a the toaster anyway, so that's going to soften it up a little bit. Dre is always half biting something and <laughs> putting it back. All right. All right, girls. Let me get my turkey bacon out and my egg. Yeah, this one right here, you gotta separate this one too. I'm gonna ask you if you want eggs. Every time I ask you if y'all want eggs, y'all say yes, y'all never eat them. I don't know why they're trying to be wasting those food. Because y'all already been wasting them. Well, I just put fat and shut it. One, two, three. Mother, to help you? All right. Love your mouth here. Six. Oh, this is six. six. This is six, child. Okay. One is so I got two for you, four, four for mommy, and my one for Posey, and one for two for Palace. Right. Daddy and Dre, now guess enough. <laughs> Daddy and Dre, girl. One, two, three. Oh no, okay, it's six, so. All right, let me put, all right, y'all, I'll show y'all the croissant when it's done. I was having to wait and I'm like, oh, this is slowing me down. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And okay, I mean, you don't. Uh, just, you can submit a, uh, what am I saying? You can submit a ticket, like an okay. IT ticket. And uh, an IT ticket, you can let them know that you need CIS integration. And I just think that once you submit the ticket, um, she'll just have to approve it. So when I get off here with you, I'll let her know that I showed you how to do it and that they might request her to approve you to have the CIS integration. A lot of kids want to act up when I got stuff to do. So at the kindness of my heart, I took some time out and I was showing one of the girls on the operations team how to add additional insurers and Salesforce. So that way she doesn't have to send emails to different people waiting for someone to update Salesforce so that she can complete our endorsements. So I reached out to her through our little messenger thing and I was like, hey, do you want me to show you how to do it really quick? Because I personally got tired of having to send an email for someone to add a named insured so that I can do an endorsement and I got access myself. So I was like, hey, I can call you really quick and show you how to do it. I was like, let me tell you, I have my children in here with me and you're probably going to hear kids in the background. And y'all, they showed out. Okay. That last clip was Palace knocking over the camera. <laughs> Oh Lord. And she and she's so cool. And you know, I forewarned her. I said, I'm sorry, I have my kids in here, so you're probably gonna hear them in the background. Oh, guys. 
guys, guys, guys. Yeah. So anyway, um, I just did that little training for her. I just had a agent from California call me and need an update to a quote I sent out a couple of days ago and their office is closed for Martin Luther King day on Monday, just like ours is. So he's sending me emails and calling me while I'm on the phone with her. And so I said, I got your email. I'm going to update the quote really quick and send it to you. So I'm going to do that really quick. It is 147. I have to go pick up poem from the bus stop. Dre has a car. So we're walking. Dang. And it just started pouring more. It's rainy and it's cold. And I have the stroller, but like I have only one umbrella. It is freezing. I don't know what I'm going to do. I was hoping that they would be asleep so I could just run real quick and get her. And the neighbor, she's at work. And so typically, like, if she's going to get her daughter, pick her up, she would. Vice versa. So I'm just going to have to walk. <gasps> I mean, it would be okay if I just had Posey. Because I could just put her in her crib and put the camera, the little baby cam in there and watch her on the camera and run up to the bus stop. is just literally right up the block. Like, right there. <laughs> but Palace, I cannot leave that child by herself. And we only have one crib. It'll be different if we had two and I could put her in a separate crib. Pow, pow. What are you doing? Let's see something she ain't supposed to. Why are you in mommy room? Get out of mommy room. <sighs> Y'all, the day is almost over. It's almost over, but we about to brace this coat. I'm about to bundle them up, and we just going for, for a freezing walk. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Here we go. Okay, y'all. So, <laughs> this is crazy. So, thankfully, I rocked Posey to sleep. She's in her crib. Palace. She has her tablet. And she's watching Bluey in my bed. And I opened the blinds so she could see me. And I told her, stay in the bed. And I set up the baby cam in their room and so, in, in my room so I could check on her. So I'm walking up to the bus stop right now. I waited to the closest time possible to when it's supposed to come. So now. I'm about to really get a bit. So here we go, guys. All right, y'all. I'm back home. Made the girls some lunch, hot dogs and fries. And you think, I think I'm going to close the vlog out here because I think it's getting a little bit long. So I hope you enjoyed my two days in the life of working from home while having my children here with me. As you can see, sometimes there's difficulties, but we get it done. Thank you guys for being so patient with me and this uploading process. I have some big news coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, if you made it this far to the video, thank you for watching until the end. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in another video.